Devotions for Wednesday, May 6th. We'll start with hymn 720 and we'll sing verses 1, 4, and 5. We make our beginning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From God's Word, I would like to share with you to, uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 20 and 22. Built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in him you are also being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. And the title for today's devotion is called The Church, Your Church. If I asked you to tell me about your church, you might tell me about the building. It might be an old, beautiful building with stained glass windows and an intricately carved wooden altar. It might be a simple, newer building full of light and space. It might be small, or it might be so large that you feel little inside. It might have a bell or a towering cross inside. If you asked people from the very early years after Jesus returned to heaven to tell you about their church, they probably wouldn't tell you about a building. They might tell you that they worshipped together in a friend's house. At first, that's where Christians worshipped. If you were rich and had a big house, you would invite others to come and worship in your home. If you lived in Rome, you might sometimes worship in a system of underground caves called catacombs. It might have been a little safer there because for a while the Roman Empire persecuted Christians. The catacombs were a good place to bury Christians who died and to have communion to remember that the dead people were alive with Jesus and that Jesus was also with his people who were still on earth. Early Christians would tell you that the church is people. They would tell you about their pastors and teachers and friends who were like family to them. So if you tell me about your church, be sure to tell me about the people Jesus died for and who share with you in his love and forgiveness. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Oremus. Amen. 
Dear Jesus, thank you for bringing your people together into a church so we can love one another and worship you. And thank you for including me in your church. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Morning Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Deo gratias. And for our closing hymn today, we're going to sing a song about, a hymn about the church. And it's 645. And it's about the church. And it says, built on the rock, the church shall stand. So think about it a minute. Who do you suppose that rock is? I said, who? So you know it's a person. So who does the rock, who is the rock? And that is Jesus, isn't it? So we're going to sing one and three today. sang the last line. I couldn't. Have a blessed day.